Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Inventory Tracker plugin. So as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to save instances of inventories that you can easily restore using a GUI. You can even teleport back to the location where it was saved at. It saves XP as well. And overall, it's a really fantastic plugin. So first of all, let's go ahead and do the forward slash inv tracker and then help command. This is going to show us all the commands. There's not too many, but the first one we want to do is the restore command. And what we can do now is select a player. So I'm going to click on my head and then it's going to show all of these chests and you can see when they were saved and it will give the location as well. And this one was saved using a command, but these were automatic. And what we can do is click into one. And this one has a ton of golden apples. It has 63 XP. And we could export it as a shulker box if we want. We could see if I have anything in the ender chest. I don't. And then there's a few other options. So obviously, if you put the shulker box down, that's just got all of the inventory in there. So that is a pretty handy command. So let's go ahead and look at the buttons down at the bottom. We've got the close button, which just goes back. We can delete the backup, we can restore and override everything in my current inventory. We can restore without replacing, so now I have a duplicate. And then we can teleport to the location where it was saved at, which is here by this tree. So now we can show all, we can show on death, we can show scheduled and show when we connect. So let's go back to all. You can see there's plenty of different categories to show and that will help you narrow down which inventory you want to restore as there may be quite a few per player. So imagine I have a really good inventory full of diamonds that I want to save. So we can do inv tracker, and then we want to do force backup and then my username and that will save my current inventory and XP. So then if we do the inv tracker and then restore, it should be the latest one up here. So it shows the date and time it was saved. And then here are my items. And then obviously we could restore like this or just get ourselves loads of items by clicking that button. Then finally, there's the inv tracker reload command if you've made any changes in the config file. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. You can see there's a language folder, database file, and then the config. If we jump into the config, there's not really too much in here. You can see we've got the language saved over here. Do you want to save empty inventories? Yes or no? I'd set that to false so it's easier to avoid those. And then we have a few things down here such as auto saved in how many seconds? So by default, 30 minutes. And then it shows the saved events. So if you change world, quit, join, kill, death, etc. And that means there's going to be a ton of instances where you can restore back to to get your specific inventory. Here we are on the spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.12 to 1.21 and it's working very, very well. There's tons of great information and pictures on here, as you can see. If you need any help, contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.